Hey guys, it's JD from Ponza World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this concrete mixer made by C Topo Go. Now this is a $66 concrete mixer that you can find on Amazon. Links will be in the description below if you want to go pick this thing up. Um, I guess there's not really much more to say about this thing, so let's go ahead and start with the showing gear around the box. Now, actually one thing that I can say, this thing is electric, so it plugs into the wall. It's not going to be powered by battery, so it's not gonna go dead within like 10 minutes or anything like that. This thing could be literally going forever as long as it's plugged into a uh, electrical socket. So let's go and start with uh, once again, showing you around the box here now. Not much to the box now. In this case, I already cut this box open, okay? This was just to make sure that what's inside of here is in fact the uh, concrete mixer, and it was, okay? I just simply cut this, looked inside and said, yep, that's the concrete mixer, and I closed it back up haven't touched anything inside so i just want to let you guys know that um around the box there is literally nothing it's just a normal brown box aside from the uh label right here which uh, if you want to take a look at that there you go that's not like an amazon label or anything like that so not really i'm not gonna really uh, know what you guys are wanting from that but there it is anyways um and on the bottom yeah there's nothing this box is too big to show you guys around all the uh Sides, but believe me, there's absolutely nothing. So let's go and open up the box here. And obviously you would cut the tape and fold it open, but I already cut it. And inside we have an instruction manual on top. All right, there's that. There's a picture of what it looks like all assembled. And okay, so yeah, this shows how to assemble it here. Pretty easy. And then a nice old, I guess, parts diagram of how everything is assembled. So there's that. Let's go and set that off to the side and get out the concrete mixer itself. So um, here's the main part and actually it feels kind of heavy. Can't say I'm surprised. Um, all right, take the wrapping off here and here's the main part, motors in here. Definitely feels really heavy duty. I'm gonna be honest. So there's that. And the uh, buttons on the side here. And then I assume that's maybe speed control right there. Once again, there's the button maybe on and off. So uh, there's that. Let's go and set this big part off to the side. It's going to feel very heavy duty, made of metal and plastic. Um, and then here is the end that goes into the concrete to mix it. Uh, once again, definitely made of metal. So there's that. Set that off to the side and then we also in here have the um tools and stuff right here so there it is so i guess what i'm gonna go and do now is uh go ahead and stop this clip and go ahead and assemble this thing all right so here we have a bucket of concrete or concrete powder whatever you want to call it here and we have a bucket of water here and here is the stuff we are using right there in case you're wondering it doesn't really matter what you're using as long as it's concrete and then here we have the concrete mixer so let's go and add some water go ahead and mix it up All right, so all of what you just saw was obviously done by this concrete mixer, and we mixed it a little bit um, more off of camera too. Um, probably almost only like three minutes total of mixing. And this is how it came out. Now, originally it was a little bit watery, but we mixed it around a little bit with the, uh, I guess, shovel, you could call it here also. And it came out honestly pretty good. See right there. 
See, it mixed it up very well. So uh, pretty good, I would say. Now to get this end clean here, um, I just simply took it out and I sprayed it off with some water and it literally looks brand new. Um, so that's a way to get it off. Now don't wait like an hour until you spray this end off or else the concrete will obviously dry on here and it will not come off. And so um, just make sure you do it like no matter of a few minutes after you uh, mix it up or as soon as possible, basically. So once again, this is how it came out. I would say pretty good. Get down a little bit here just to show you guys. And once again, it did mix it very well. So uh, definitely quick and easy, I would say. Um, you could also use this thing for mixing paint if you want. Um, obviously, it's meant to be just a concrete mixer, but if you're mixing like a big bucket of paint, um, I mean, this would work fine too. Just make sure you really wash it off then because um, it's going to be more watery and it's going to splash everywhere. So um, you could use this thing for a multitude of things aside from just concrete um, if you really wanted to, even though I don't necessarily recommend it now. For powering this thing, we used a uh, heavy duty, uh, thick gauge wire um, extension cord here, because if you just plug this thing into a normal wall socket um, without using uh, one of these heavy duty extension cords, it seems to actually dim the lights. I plugged this cord right here directly into a socket inside of our house and it actually dimmed the lights a little bit, um, just a normal, normal 120 volt uh, socket. Um, but when we use this heavy duty extension cord, it didn't do that. Um, again, I don't know if that's because it's just a thicker gauge wire or what, but, um, anyways, either way, this thing worked great. Um, and it definitely made mixing up concrete pretty darn easy. And, uh, you also have speed controls here. If you guys noticed, um, it was originally at nine, which is the fastest it could go. And, uh, my father brought it down to about two or three and, uh, that slowed it down and made it a lot more easier to control. So uh, what I'll actually do is I'll plug this thing in and show you guys basically how to uh, control and demonstrate these USB controls too, or at least I'll try my best. Uh, so I'll go and do that now. All right, so I'm gonna try my best to demonstrate this with uh, basically one hand. Obviously I'm using the other hand with uh, for filming. So I'm gonna kind of move it here, kind of prop it up. And here is, this is on the left side, or if you want to use it on the right side, it's up to you. Uh, but this is the power control you can see right here. If I press it. So there's that. And then also on the uh, same side, you have your, uh, once again, your, or no, actually, it's on the other side. Never mind. Um, you have your speed controls here, which in this case, it's on six or nine, it depends on how you're looking at it, what side, and that's the fastest. But if I bring it down to, for example, uh, let's do two, and I'll go in and prop it up here and turn it on. You can see there, it's a lot slower. So really like that, yeah, that speed control can make it easier to use. And I assume this button here, this is right here on the same side that the, uh, like this button is. I. I'm pretty sure that's like a lock button. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it is. Um, that's the only thing that I can think it would be. Uh, so there's that, so pretty cool. So uh, yeah, once again, it worked very well. So um, I guess there's not much more to say about it. So I guess I'll go and give you guys my five opinions right here. I'm not gonna go downstairs. Things too big to put on my desk and have it all in frame. So I'll just go in and do that now. All right, so overall, what do I think of the cement mixer? I would say this thing is on honestly pretty all right. Now, as you guys saw previously, this thing made mixing concrete pretty darn easy. Again, it only took us a matter of a few minutes when with a shovel, you would be in there for, I would say probably 10 minutes. I don't know, I've never mixed concrete before other than using this thing. So probably around 10 minutes because concrete is obviously the thicker material and it's gonna get hard over time. Um, the matter of just seconds, it's, it's gonna get harder and harder, so uh, it's gonna take longer and longer. But this thing makes it, once again, very simple. You just plug it in, press that button, and it immediately starts mixing. Uh, puts all the use on the motor instead of your arms, so definitely better on your body too. So once again, it definitely worked very well, and you could use this thing for mixing paint if you wanted to, and I'm sure many other things that I'm not thinking of. Um, and once again, mainly concrete, that's mainly what it's meant to be used on. Uh, but once again, you can use it on um, paint, whatever you want, really.
kind of couldn't think of the word there. Anyways, you can see once again, it makes concrete very well. Um, it definitely worked pretty well. So if you're on a job site or something, tired of using a shovel like this thing here, I definitely do recommend this uh, concrete mixer. And I don't know why this thing would really break. So whenever it does break, probably after like, I don't know, maybe two years or something of use, you just go out and buy a new one. I mean, they're cheap enough and uh, you can have yourself a whole new concrete mixer if this thing ever does break. So once again, I would say pretty well and I don't know if, why it would break. I mean, it really truly does feel like a solid cement mixer. Everything, pretty much everything's made of uh, metal except for the uh, housing here, but this is made of metal. And once again, it seems powerful and honestly gets a thumbs up from me. So uh, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.